homeowners insurance companies are clamping down. Uh, insurance companies are not immune to the inflationary pressures that are going on in the economy. It is taking longer and costs more to repair a home after it's damaged and they're experiencing unprecedented weather-related losses on top of that. Insurance companies are taking multiple steps to get back into the black. The first thing, which most people are aware of, is that they're increasing their rates. They're asking the state insurance, insurance department to increase their rates to help them get back in the black, and they're being granted those increases. The other thing is most homeowner insurance policies insure you based on the estimated rebuilding costs to rebuild your home if it was burned to the ground. Well, there is an inflation guard on most policies and insurance companies have the flexibility to change that rate. So obviously with the high inflation that we're experiencing now, they are increasing that inflation amount. So that is part of what is causing your higher rates. Insurance companies are also looking at the number and the type of claims uh, that they will accept for new business. Uh, so if you've had really more than one claim in the last five years, and really depending on the type of claim that one claim was, you could have trouble finding homeowners insurance. Uh, and insurance companies are using aerial photography. I've talked about this before. They're doing this on the front end when they write a piece of business. They're pulling up photographs of the aerial view of the home to see if there's any overhanging trees or any hazards or any roof conditions. But they're also doing it on their existing book of business to see if they can identify any potential areas, uh, uh, hazards that might cause them losses in the future. And on new business, insurance companies are requesting more exterior and in some cases interior inspections of your home. There's always been a percentage of homes that the insurance company will go out and send an inspector out to uh, review to make sure the home is in good condition. That percentage has increased. They're trying to identify more homes that might have a loss in the future that they can help to avoid. So why should you care about all of this? Well, just understand if your homeowner's insurance rates have gone up and you want to go out and shop your insurance to find a better rate, just know that the insurance companies really only want the cream of the crop. So if you're looking to save money, your home better be in tip-top condition. And you better not have more than one claim in the last five years. Like I said before, depending on the type of claim, you still might have issues. So take a walk around your home. I'm gonna give you the, the big things that the insurance company are looking for. The roof is the one is the first thing that I always look at when I pull up to a house. Are there any curling or missing shingles? Is there moss on the roof? Uh, is there overhanging trees? The gutters, uh, are the gutters there? Are they installed properly? Are they working correctly in diverting water away from the foundation of your home? If you have stair stairs that have three steps or more, do you have a handrail there? That is required by all insurance companies. Your driveways and walkways, are they in good condition? Are they free of any tripping hazards? Trees or branches, are they overhanging the, ho the house, uh, causing potential hazard? If you have shrubs or plants planted around your home, are they touching your home or overhanging onto your roof? Cut those back uh, to make sure that they're not rubbing against the house causing any potential damage. If you have an in-ground pool, do you have a self-closing locking gate? If you have an above-ground pool, is it secure? If you have a deck that you walk up to with stairs, are those stairs, do they have a self-closing locking gate? Uh, if you just have steps that go into the above ground pool, uh, does that ladder steps fold up and lock? Um, so now if you have any issues with anything that I listed above, uh, I would say press pause on going and shopping your homeowner's insurance. Take care of any issues you have beforehand. Uh, because before you start shopping, you want to have these taken care of to know that you're going to get the best rate. So what we do is we do a pre-inspection. So we will go out and look at the house, take photos ourselves before we even write the business. Uh, and this just helps us identify any issues that the homeowner's insurance company might have with your property. 
We want those taken care of before we even write the policy. Now, some companies, most companies will do a post-insurance inspection. So after they write the policy, it's on the books, they'll send somebody out to go inspect the property. If they find any issues, there is a window of time where they can go back and cancel your policy. That is not good for you. Because uh, the problem is, if they cancel your policy, you say, well, I'll just go back to my old insurance company and they'll take me back. You might be wrong on that one. Uh, so once you know, you've been with somebody that canceled you for a condition, it's very difficult to go back to your existing company and say, hey, can I come back to you? Uh, because now the condition has been identified and they're probably not gonna want you back either until that condition has been uh, fixed. So uh, if you would like us to review your insurance and provide you with a no obligation quote, feel free to give us a call. Thanks everybody.